what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gamatria in this video i'm gonna go over a football game for sunday january 28th 2024 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's gonna be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers i encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick and if for some reason you're curious to know who I'm picking in these games, you'll have to join my Patreon. My picture always in writing, underline, and italicized. For more information on that, please read the description. Or for more information on that, please read the pinned comment in this video below. There'll be a comment at the top that's pinned uh, where you can find all the information on that. Uh, I wish you guys the best of luck on your uh, picks for today, for this game, for this weekend. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the game. We're going to be looking at... The NFC Championship in Santa Clara. We're going to get the Lions versus the 49ers. Okay. On this side of the screen, let's make it bigger. On this side of the screen is what I call, oh my goodness. <laughs> On this side of the screen right here is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. Uh, the way that I have it structured here is I have the distance to the upcoming Super Bowl at top. I have the location of the game, city, state, stadium coordinates. Right here, I keep track of home team win-loss records for the NFL season. So this will be the 284th NFL game for the season. It'll be the 12th playoff game for the season. Right here is the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams all time and for the postseason. And then right here is the home team, their season record, their coach's record, their quarterback record, their name gimmicks you to and from their birthday. And at the bottom is the road team, their season record, their coach's record, their quarterback record, their name gimmicks you to and from their birthday. All right, let's just jump right into this. Now, I always start with the home team. I'm going to go over some numbers for the home team to win this game, which is the 49ers. And then I'm going to go over some numbers for the road team to win this game, which is the Lions. So starting off with the 49ers, if the 49ers were going to win this game, uh, it could be based off of the number 73. Today will be a day with 73 date numerology on the Gregorian. Either one of these teams could become 7-3. and three. For example, 49ers could become 7-3 and three at home with the win, or the Lions could become 7-3 and three on the road with the win. So depending on who wins, either one of them is going to become 7-3 and three on the road and or at home. Uh, if the 49ers do win this game and become 7-3 and three at home for the season, like 73, the 21st prime number, 73 Dayton Rollage on the Gregorian, the quarterback, Brock Purdy, can get his 21st win all time for his career to go with. So they could become 7-3, and three, like 73, at home for the season with the win on a day with 73 Dayton numerology, 73 the 21st prime number. Uh, 49ers quarterback can get his 21st win all time for his career to go with. Brock Purdy, the quarterback for the 49ers, he wears the number 13. This is going to be the number one seed versus the number three seed, like 13. And he could become four and one, like 41 postseason all time for his career with the win. 41 mathematically is the 13th prime number. Uh, interesting enough, if that were to happen, the Super Bowl is played on the 42nd day of the Gregorian year, the 42nd day. And so if 49ers do advance we might be looking at Brock Purdy becoming four and two postseason for his career on the 42nd day but that's neither here nor there they got to make it there first um again 13 where's the number 13 the number one seed 49ers versus the number three seed Lions like 13 he could become four and one postseason for his career with the win 41 the 13th prime number <clears throat> this will be the 28th day of the Gregorian New Year, the 28th day of the Gregorian New Year, and 49ers can sit on 28 all-time head-to-head losses against the Lions with the win. Uh, what else? What else? Kyle Shanahan, uh, he can sit on 54 losses for his career with the win. Um, as uh, the Lions quarterback, Jared Goff, gets his 54th loss for his career with the with the loss um, and this will be Dan Campbell's the line coaches 54th postseason game for his career so there's like a little bit of a 54 number going on uh, Jared Goff can get his 54th loss Lions coach coaching his 54th postseason game for his career 49ers coach can sit on 54 losses with the win 
Uh, it is 45. It's been a distance of 45 days since his 44th birthday, Kyle Shanahan. And, uh, you know, 45 equals 54. 50, 50, uh, let's look correctly, 54 equals 45. So um, they're just kind of interchangeable in that way. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, the going back to the 21, um, it being a day with 73 date numerology on the Great Goring, the 21st prime. 49ers could become 7 and 3 at home for the season, 73 the 21st prime as their quarterback gets his 21st win all time for his career. At the same time, the 49ers could become 2 and 1 like 21 all time head to head against the Lions postseason to go with. So that could be another 21 connection. Um, I didn't have a whole lot marked here, as you can see. The words Detroit Lions, if you write it out, sums to 164. And the, the Lions could become 14 and 6 for a season record with a loss. 14-6 or 146 is just an anagram of 164. Uh, they could become six and four on the road with a loss, like 64. And if you write out 64, it sums to 157, the 37th prime number. It also sums to 49. They're playing against the 49ers. But the 37th prime number um, today does have 37 date numerology on the Gregorian. Uh, so that could be a factor as well. And... What did 72 sum to? Uh, that's why I didn't mark it. I didn't see anything really. You know, I just don't see a whole lot for this game in general. Um, oh, going back to the 54s, actually, what I was going to say is NFC Championship. If you write out NFC Championship, it sums to 251. 251 is the 54th prime number, and that's what I meant to say. So NFC Championship 251 sums, sums to 251, the 54th prime. 49ers coach can set on 54 losses. It's the Lions coach's 54th postseason game. Uh, Jared Goff can get his 54th loss uh, for his career in the NFC Championship game. Um, that can go with it as well. And... Um, uh, I think that's about it for right now, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and switch gears towards the uh, Lions. What would it take for the Lions to win this game? Sorry to interrupt this video, you guys, but I need a huge favor from you. Can you go ahead and like this video and leave a comment below on who you think is going to win? It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help grow my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. So for the Lions to win this game, Going back up here, the NFC Championship. If you write out NFC Championship, it sums to 71. 71. Uh, Kyle Shanahan, the quarterback, or excuse me, the coach for the 49ers, he can sit on 71 wins for his career with a loss playing in the NFC Championship. NFC Championship sums to 71. And Jared Goff, the quarterback for Lions, can get his 71st win all time for his career. And it is going to be a day leaving 71 left in the Hebrew religious side of the calendar. So that 71 is there a few times on the calendar side and on the Gematria side for the NFC Championship. Jared Goff, he can sit on 53 losses for his career on a day with 53 date numerology for the Gregorian as he becomes 5-3, and three, like 53 postseason for his career with the win. And uh, as I already mentioned, uh, either one of these teams could become seven and three with seventy-three date numerology, and it could be the Lions become seven and three on the road for the season with the win, like seventy-three, the twenty-first prime number. And then in th in that case, the Lions would then also become two and one, like twenty-one head to head against the 49ers postseason all time. Um. Oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say. Sorry, this goes back to the 49er, 49ers, Kyle Shanahan getting a 72nd win for his career. 
This game being played in Santa Clara, which sums to 72. He can get his 72nd win all time for his career playing at home in Santa Clara, which sums to 72. That's actually in favor for 49ers. Uh, but back to the Lions, if the Lions were going to win. Uh, if the Lions do win this game, they become 15-5 and five for a season record heading into Super Bowl 58. 15-5. and five. Heading into Super Bowl 58, if we write out the number 58, it sums to 155. So the Lions could become 15 and 5 as a record for the season to head into the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58. And the number 58, if you write it out, sums to 155. Um, what else? What else? Lions coach, he can get his 32nd win all time for his career on the 18th day of the fifth month for the Hebrew civil. I can actually mark that in a cantaloupe color. If you write out 32, 32 sums to 158. And it being the uh, 18th day of the fifth month, 158, 185, they're just anagrams of each other. Um, Dan Campbell can get his 32nd all-time win for his career. Wait, not 54. Okay, so I'm when I say the Dan Campbell thing, I'm I'm saying it wrong. I'm not saying I, I shouldn't say 54th postseason game for his career. Um, it's the 54th game all time for uh, as a coach for the Lions specifically. I shouldn't have said postseason, but it just made me think. I was like 66 all time game, 54th post doesn't doesn't make sense. But yeah, it's the 54th game as a coach specifically for the Lions. But anyway, going back to uh, the 32, so Dan Campbell can get his 32nd win. Uh, Brock Purdy could become 3-2, and two, like 32, postseason for his career with a loss on the 18th day of the fifth month. 32 written out sums to one, 158, anagram of 185. But also, 53 date numerology on the Gregorian, 53 date numerology on the Hebrew religious, 53 mathematically is the 16th prime number. Jared Goff, the quarterback for Lions, Where's the number 16? Could be another reason why he sits on 53 losses and becomes 5-3 and three postseason for his career with a win. And I think that might do it. One last thing regarding the 16 number. If the 49ers do lose, they become 13-6 and six for a season record uh, with a loss, 13-6, and six, like 136. 136 is the 16th triangular number, and it would come at the hands of number 16, Jared Goff, on the Lions as he sits on 53 losses and becomes 5-3 and three postseason with the win, 53 is the 16th prime number. And with Brock Purdy wearing the number 13 and this being the one seed versus the three seed, like 13, could be a reason for uh, 49ers to just go ahead and sit on 13 wins for the season with the loss as well. And uh, that's about what I would put for this game also. Uh, hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you insight to the game, gets you started on a decode, as to a decode that you already have. I really appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate the support. Uh, hopefully you win all the money in the world. I wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, again, thank you for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one.